Morning guys. Welcome to Rockin' the Heat. I just, uh, quick review of this ghost pepper hard candy. Um, this is what it looks like. Little, just shatter candy. No heat whatsoever. Just is what it is. Um, tastes good though. Has a decent blue raspberry taste to it. It's not sour. Um, well, a little bit sour, but not particularly. Um, I figured I'd take you guys on a little drive this morning. You're not going to see much, but I would chat about a few things. I have the phone wedged in my steering wheel, so this is going to be kind of funny. <laughs> you guys are going to get flipped around a couple times. I don't even know if this is going to turn out. I'm not sure what my phone does when it gets flipped upside down. So. Anyways, let's get on the road. I do really appreciate 
appreciate that you guys are late for work for the nice packaging that I've been seeing, the insulated packaging, but uh, apparently they tossed a couple other goodies in there, uh, so I am super grateful and super excited to uh, everyone at Late for Work, Kim, Dylan, Jason, I don't know if there's anyone else behind the scenes, but uh, ooh, getting sideways, oh buddy. talk about Joe Glubak over at Florida Heat. Go check him out. Go check out Florida Heat. Uh, he used to be Joe Glubak and well he still is Joe Glubak <laughs> but uh, he changed his channel name to be a little bit more clear, uh, a little less confusing for some people. Um, anyways, he was riding his bike the other day and uh, some a-hole just blew by him. I, I believe that's what it was, but, uh, or cut him off or, or something. But yeah, just basically road, I think it was just like road rage being taken out on Joe. And I hate that. I hate hearing about that. There's, where I live here in Missoula, Montana, there's uh, a lot of bicyclists and, uh, on the particular road that I take to work, there is no shoulder, but it's a beautiful road and lots of people love riding there. And when I lived in Hawaii, there wasn't a shoulder on uh, a lot of the roads that I rode. And <laughs> some people, whether it was road rage or not, you just got used to vehicles kind of blown by you or just getting real close to you. Um, if I wasn't young, if I wasn't 21 when I was doing that, I don't, I don't think I'd do that today. It's just, I don't have the focus. I am a very distracted person. I don't have the focus anymore to <laughs> ride on the side of a road like that because I just want to zone out and not deal with having to worry if I sway one side to the other just a little bit because that's all it was gonna take when I was in Hawaii but back to Joe I mean man that sucks I hate it when that happens um, I feel for you brother because I've been there I've been on both sides though um, I haven't been the guy who's blown past yelling at someone riding a bike or anything like that yelling get off the road or anything like that but I I've probably sped past a uh, bicyclists or two on my way to work, like late for work, hurrying. Um, probably a little closer than I needed to, but uh, anyways, yeah, that sucks, man. So, um, well, let's see here. I'm gonna go this direction. and crystals to it or something like that or maybe more tincture and uh, make it hotter I'm not sure exactly what it does to, to spice it up but all right guys take it easy keep rocking on um, I haven't picked an album for today so maybe I'll tell you guys at lunch I've been really busy believe it or not I drove to work in silence <laughs> I'm not sure why I did that. 
My whole morning was screwed up. I didn't have spicy cereal, slurring my words, drove to work in silence. Ugh. It's a crazy day, guys. It's a crazy day. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Alright, adios, guys.